Wow. What a powerful day. We will begin to encounter this day as we start the day in God's word. We begin looking at Acts chapter 14 and verse 1, which is the first missionary journey of Paul's. And the word started or the statement started this chapter by saying, now it happened again, or this thing, the same thing happened. You know, when we look at Iconium and the times of Paul at this time, there was much persecution. It was a heathen city. It seemed as though Satan was reigning, but God said, now it happened, or the same thing happened as was at Pentecost, as was in the beginning. So we read, and let's read it from Acts chapter 14 that says, when Paul and Barnabas arrived at Iconium, they the same thing happened there. They went as they always did to the synagogue and preached to the people with such power that a large crowd of both Jews and non-Jews believed. Some of the Jews refused to believe and they began to poison the minds of the non-Jewish to discredit the believers. Yet Paul and Barnabas stayed there for a long time, preaching boldly and fearlessly about the Lord. Many trusted in the Lord, for he backed up his message of grace with miracles, signs, and wonders performed by the apostle. Let me tell you, signs and wonders are coming again. Yes, the church has been in the dark. The church has been lost, but signs and wonders is returning to the church. The people of the city were split over this issue. Some sided with the apostles, others with the Jews, who refused to believe. Listen, eventually all the opposition factions uh, came together with their leaders, devising a plot to harm Paul and Barnabas and stone them to death. I want us to go to Malachi today, and we're going to see that no matter what, God's in control. You know, we may look at our world today, and let me tell you, the coronavirus is not a virus. It is a plot of the enemy to divide, to uh, destroy, and to kill, even as they tried to do to Paul and Barnabas here. It is a plan to de devise, destroy, and to kill the church of Jesus Christ. Christ. Uh, you know, I heard statistics even yesterday that one in five churches uh, will not reopen because of the restrictions uh, that Satan, that is the governments, uh, our governments have put upon the church. Uh, the sheep are without a shepherd, uh, but everything uh, is in the control of God. Now it happened again. Let me tell you, it is about to happen again. Malachi chapter 4 says this, For behold the day, that is, now it's happening again. For behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven. Oh, make sure your eyes are on Jesus, church. Make sure your eyes are on Jesus. Punishment is coming as it was to the Egyptians, as it was to the Babylonians. Do not touch God's anointed. For behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven, and all the proud, the arrogant, that's within the church and without the church. Yes, all who do wickedly will be stubble, 
and the day which is coming shall burn them up. Look around at the enemy. They're about to be burned up. Look around at the slackness and the arrogance uh, within the church. Uh, it's about to be burnt up, saith the Lord. I'm not saying that, church. It says, saith the Lord of God's army, that, that will leave them neither root nor branch. Listen, this is powerful. Listen, you know, the enemy seems to be in control, but listen, listen, verse 2, and this, this is a prophetic word. This is the last chapter that was to be written for 400 years. Malachi is prophesying the future. He's prophesying the first great uh, outpouring, uh, and he's prophesying the latter outpouring, the day that you and I live in right now. Listen. But you who fear my name, the son of righteousness shall arise in the midst of turmoil, in the midst of hatred all around about you. Paul went into a city that was ready to explode with violence, and yet he preached the gospel. Because, but to you who fear the name of the Son of Righteous shall arise. Paul arose. Now listen, and it says here with Iconium, it was the same thing. And the Son of Righteous shall arise with healing in his wing, going back to what we looked at yesterday regarding the healing and the, uh, the eagles in the weak, uh, with healing in his wings, and you shall go out uh, and grow fat like a store-fed calf. Uh, you shall trample the wicked, uh, for they shall be ashes under you. Uh, the soul under you, the soles of your feet on the day that I do this, saith the Lord of heaven's army. Wow. You see here it says, uh, uh, with healing in their wings. Uh, we read from our text uh, in Acts chapter 14, uh, and uh, it says, many trusted in the Lord, for he backed up his mercy of grace uh, with miracles, signs, and wonders. Uh, people have said, where are the miracles today? Let me tell you, church, they're coming. They're coming. Now it happened again. This week, uh, we're, get, we're looking at not the negative we're looking at the power of God that's about to be released. The enemy's going to be burned in the oven, but the righteous are going to go forth with a supernatural power flowing out of them. Make sure this day that you are one of the righteous. This is Prophet Tom. Have a powerful day. Go forth in the anointing of God. Bless you.